This is Insider Medicine in 60 from San Francisco. The American Academy of Pediatrics is urging earlier formal screening for autism. The organization recommends that children be screened twice before the age of two, as autism in the milder form Asperger's now affects 1 in 150 children. Warning signs include lack of babbling, failure to make eye contact when one's name is called, and lack of smiling. Interventions include 25 hours per week of intensive therapy. From Maryland, the FDA has approved a new drug for chronic myelogenous leukemia. The drug Tazigna has been approved for use in patients with CML who are positive for the Philadelphia chromosome. It is indicated in those who have failed other treatments. From Rochester, while mortality has fallen for the general population, those with rheumatoid arthritis have not experienced the same gains. A new study comparing changes in mortality over several decades has shown it to be 35 percent higher in those with RA. And finally from Arizona, HIV may have come to the U.S. through Haiti in the late 1960s. Analyzing HIV DNA from patients in the U.S. who arrived from Haiti in the early 80s, researchers believe that the origin of HIV may have come from the Congo through Haiti and may have resided in Miami for many years. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.